It's time for Noisy Radio, episode 31, season 2. Yes, starting off with a brand new Upbeat track. Yes, and this one is called Joyrider, and it's on part 2 of their De-Evolution series. special stuff yes we haven't even announced but there's also an ice school guest mix in this episode but b- before we get there this is some brand new invisible music yeah it's uh nick b with a track called confrontation and uh, it's going to be part of his sounds of war ep that will be coming out uh next month in yep. august we've got a new artist ep on invisible we're really excited so here's the first one confrontation Like the radio.
last week, we brought you two new tracks, and this is one of them. This is The Entangled. That one's going to be on our Outer Edges album um, and is already available now, uh, as is this track, and it's called Tentacles. Tentacles! some exclusive fish from Saturate, a label from Hamburg. This is Nasty Nasty with a track called Sick Little... Sick 
put a f- is a listener submission and it's by Canon Dancer it's called Wump Wump or Wump 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 maybe it's called Wump Wump no it's Wump Wump to go a little more deeper this is the sounds of stranger and grim reign supreme coming out on Jun- jungle syndicate some jungle business really really loving this business After this, it's time for Drulu. Drulu. Straight out of Holland. Yeah. And this track is called Straight Murder. We used to revolvers, man. 38 don't jam. Don't hold 15 either. Game done change. Game the same. Just got more feds. This 
did some assassination shit. I tell shit, you, man. you getting somebody, you getting them. playing at Let It Roll. We're debuting debut, debuting our Outer Edges um, audiovisual show. And we're also uh, hosting a Noisy Invites stage on which our buddy Icicle is playing a DJ set. Yeah. And uh, because of that, we asked him to do a guest mix for Noisy Radio. And uh, yeah, uh, listen what he has to say about that and then listen to the guest mix. When Noisia asked me to do a guest mix, I said, "Dash good." And hence, here's my guest mix. I hope you enjoy.
the youngsters They ran your country before your hunger come down in numbers Enough school duggery, grave digging, they shut the bungles How can man be hungry when that's among us in vast abundance? Struggling currencies, nothing if you've enough in your rough Struggling people are equal but they ain't evil enough Of course more want more, more force, more law, more war, more money Drop them, 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 drop them. You're listening to Noisy Radio, and this is my guest mix.
Yo, this is Icicle, and you're listening to my guest mix on the Noisia Radio.
getting filled with Zoppy clone No one's awake in the city, trust me, I'm on my own Somewhere between the lines of deep meditation And a paranoid state from the sleep deprivation Medicate my brain, still never feel sane Watching why I can't move from this vegetative state Now it's gone, all I can do is want it back Welcome to the mind of an insomniac guest mix and now it's question time um first question from dark shed hmm hmm what would he mean with that name dark shed um the question is and i'm asking you my time do you guys have sons or daughters and do they produce music too i have a, a daughter It's funny that you asked that. Um, it's also uh, quite interesting to see how she is obviously not producing drum and bass or anything. But she uh, does produce music. Yeah, she produces music. Um, she's one year old and um, she can play the piano with her hand and feet at the same time. <laughs> and she can sing. She can sing like she sings fish, fish. Stuff like that. So yeah, she's very, um, very yeah. into the music production business. Yep, producing music. Uh huh. Um, but no, of course, not yet. You never know for the future, though. Um, so I have a, a, a question in return for you guys by uh, Ron Tan. Um, is it a must for a young producer to progress uh, to buy expensive software and hardware? I am broke as. Well, we started very broke too. I very much remember that period. Um, we had literally almost no money, especially me myself. I had, uh, I yeah, I didn't have any money. So uh, all the money that I had, I put into um, a production PC, and um, yeah, we just downloaded software trials and uh, did some uh, tried some stuff illegally as well um, which I mean by now we buy everything or we, we get it from the developer ourselves but at that period we really started using cracked software and we were we started on really crappy speakers and I don't know we didn't need it I mean there's so much you can learn just using what's available especially now like with DAWs like Reaper that are just free if you want them to be I mean I'm not sure if it still is but it used to be free there's so much stuff open source software like really good stuff that you can play so no definitely no you can you can learn 
You can come a long way not spending any money if you have a computer and speakers. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it, there's also um, the word progress in that question. I think if you do want to progress, it's good to um, try out stuff for free. Um, but at some point, if you're starting to make money or enough money to for it to uh, be a bit weird that you use your um, software that people actually spend a lot of time developing uh, for free when you when you actually have to buy it. Yeah. So. If you make money doing shows or selling music, then you really have to buy the software. So. Uh huh. But yeah, I mean, at some point you're gonna run into like the the end of of your gear like your speakers aren't good enough and you can't progress anymore but with any gear you can you can learn a lot and then you know save money while you're learning with what you have and then buy new speakers or buy headphones or buy a new computer or buy software um okay the next question from spaniard spaniard <laughs> If you could go to any day in the past from before you were born, what day would you visit and why? Um, I would love to have been um, there when Michael Jackson did that first moonwalk, or his first moonwalk at least, um, at the Motown TV show. Um, I, I can still watch that and, uh, and be like, oh yeah, I would have loved to be there. So yeah. that's that's my my thing. I mean, you can obviously, uh, yeah, you could could have like big political or big historical moments that you could, I don't know, big uh, battles or something that you could have visited or discovery of some place or whatever. Um, it's not really my thing, you know. <laughs> so um, I I I I thought I didn't have answer, but I just thought of an answer. Um, I heard this story about, oh shit, um, I think it's called a musical offering and it's it's basically the king of Prussia, Frederick, played a theme, he was a musician, uh, played a theme on a flute, a really weird chromatic theme, and then he told Bach, who was a visitor at the court of the king, to improvise a four voice counterpoint fugue on that theme, which Bach did, and he nailed it and then later from memory he wrote down the whole improvisation that's now uh, a thing that you can listen to i think it's called a musical offering uh, but i would have loved to see that improvisation but then it doesn't i would love to see anyone pro- improvising like that so if someone come by come by in the studio and do that tomorrow and I'll, t- I'll give them a theme and they do a four voice fugue improvisation then i don't have to travel to the past it uh, makes it a lot more convenient yes but yeah, that must have been amazing to see someone improvising four voices at the same time um, in a, in a counterpoint fashion. So that's my answer. Ah, nice, nice answer. Um, and here's a, another question. I think you can answer this. Uh, it's a question by Signal Jonathan, our buddy from Holland. Um, he asks, do you always clean up documentary samples or do you ask the company for a clean audio file? We never ask no company for no clean audio file. We just high pass it a little and maybe uh, edit out some noise. Uh, Usually we try to look for the clean sounding samples. Like if there's a big melody underneath the vocal sample, then you just end up not using it usually. Or if, or try to get it in tune with the song. Sometimes it does something, adds something, adds something cool. Yeah. And he also asks, what is that ARP in Floating Zero? Yes, I hope you weren't going to ask the second question because I actually forgot. Um, yeah, me too. <laughs> it's an ARP in a VST synth. I'm, I um, wouldn't be surprised if it synth one. Could be. But I think it's the Cubase arpeggio. I'm not sure. That's that's why I didn't really want to answer this question. So yeah, we forgot. We should, maybe you should have asked us last week as well because Florian was here because you know floating zero is with face but yeah so this is the answer nope don't know i'll try to find out so let's wrap this up yeah it's time for our old stuff that we've never finished and uh we have something this week that's called but i can remember 
Le Jazz Lounge. MP3. brings us to this week's drum and bass classic this is an old bad company song called accession and i mean I keep saying the same thing about all these classics that they're really amazing but of course i think they're amazing because we select them so they are our favorites so it's kind of gratuit to say that they to big them up so much but man i keep saying the same thing and i'm gonna say it again this track is amazing used to listen to this so, so so much in the in the bus on mini disc and walkman bases in the mid-range wow but nice one vibes Thank <laughs> you. 
that's it for today. We've only got one more track. Um, and while we listen to that, we want to thank you for tuning into Noisy Radio and hope to catch you again next week. This is Goner, not so fast. Mm-hmm.